We are ready. We're going. We're going to the ABR. You look like a pack horse. So that's all Ailey's stuff on that bike. Uh, and that's all Ailey's stuff on that bike. And me and Buddy have got that tank bag. Baby. Oh, what's in there? Baby Bunzi. <laughs> so we're nearly there. We've just uh, we've just had our D's. Oh, lovely D's. All packed up and uh, about five minutes away now. Yeah, look. Bless her. <laughs> uh, are you all right there? Are you all right? Yeah, just about. Uh, <laughs> being a midget, you know. It's just little little person syndrome. That's what it is. Oh, Here he is. Look. Oh, are you all right, kid? So I'm um, now mommy calling Matt. Look at the mighty tiger. Oh, she look beautiful. Look. The Lomo bags on. Give you racks. Beautiful top box, barbecue, tent. Oh, it's all there, look. It's all there. Alright, we're going, kid. Right, so we're going to head there now. Well, we're nearly there now. It's a bloody hot one. It really is. It's got sweaty bits everywhere. Oh, but we're not far now. Uh, we're heading for the tradesman's entrance today. So uh, that's where we're going. It's going to be a scorcher all weekend. Well, with everything on it, the tiger's done really well. I've got my beautiful wife behind me. She's all loaded up on her Tiger 800. Oh, a bit of air in, I think. A little bit of air in, buds. What do you reckon, kid? So this is what we expect off. You want your expects off, kid? So yeah, we'll arrive now. We'll get uh, camp buddy set up. Hopefully we haven't forgot anything, but you just know every time you come away, you bloody forget something. Uh, the wife forgot a toothbrush. Had to go and buy one of them. So that's the first one on the list of things forgotten. But as far as I know, we got everything else. But only time will tell. It doesn't matter how much preparation we put in, we always forget something. <laughs> so, there you go. I missed the bloody gate. But never mind. Just have to go for a bit of a ride down the lane, won't we, till we can turn round. And you just know, there won't be anywhere to turn round. Bloody miles! Bloody miles! I think we can turn round up here. Lovely. Where are you at, buds? Hey! <laughs> oh, it's a nice little bit of a bimble down the lane. We pretty much have everything that we, we took with us when we had the the one night away. And uh, unfortunately, I'm stuck with the same chairs. Just couldn't afford to get any new ones. So I sort of adapted them a little bit. Uh, so they won't sink in the mud, hopefully. And um, we bought a new airbed, because I tell you what, I couldn't sleep on good ship lollipop again, not for four nights. And uh, I do double sleeping bag, so we can do a bit of spooning. Bit of spooning! There we go. Build up gate. Yeah, I love that you, <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I'm good, you? Yeah, not too bad, sir, you know. Yeah. You ready for a busy one? I like it. Security. Yeah. <laughs> I remember from what? Last year. 
Oh, a bit of gravelly on, love. A bit of off-roading. There we go, buds. You know, keep that while you get dust in your eyes, kid. How do? Oh, mate. <laughs> Se <laughs> Security. <laughs> give you a view of what the ABR looks like with nobody on it. What a beautiful day it is. Seems to be a bit of a different layout to last year so that'll be interesting to see but we're gonna pitch a tent there right now. There we have it all set up and ready to go. So the bikes are just about to come in now and uh, I'm going to do a time lapse of that, show you uh, how all the people coming in for the VIP day. Oh, what a hot day it is, it's bloody gorgeous. night a bit of a bit of a beer head this morning and uh, I've got to say people start arriving here at about six o'clock bloody this morning one of those motorbikes <laughs> well I suppose there's worse sounds to wake up to eh? it's starting to fill up now and uh, it's not as hot at the moment but I think it's going to be another scorch I burnt my bloody arms yesterday oh just bloody hot it was but it's a different layout this year and uh, i've got to say i think it's uh, for the better it's, it's a lot better than uh, the layout for last year and that's saying something and uh yeah gotta say ended up getting pissed with richie vida last night that was quite funny that was a comical evening and uh i'll turn you around and you can see how it's filled up a bit compared to yesterday and they're still coming in I mean, I was shocked at uh, how many people actually came in yesterday on the VIP day. And uh, it's just non-stop. It's, uh, what time is it now? It's nearly 10 o'clock now. And like I say, it's been constant since about six o'clock this morning. So I'll, I'll turn you around and show you. So the good wife's gone for a shower and uh, I'm going to crack on with breakfast in a minute, get some food going because I'm bloody starving and then we're going to take the day from there, see where it goes. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I 
I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. Good morning, ABR. Well, it's day two for us now. And uh, I gotta say, it's bloody packed. Another good night last night. Beer, music, good people. It's always a good night. So we're heading to uh, Heelot stand today, Saturday. And uh, myself and Budsy. Say morning, Buds. A uh, star of the show with your kid. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. So yeah, as you can see, motorbikes and tents every bloody way. And uh, most of them are heading out on the trails today, down there. And uh, it's been quite gnarly this year, apparently. Been quite a few offs, quite a few accidents. But today, I'm heading to the heat light stand as I'm going to give Pete a little bit of time and uh, going to uh, interview him and have a chat with him about the Helite Air products. Uh, it's a piece of motorcycle kit that I really am most passionate about. And uh, yeah, I'll take you for a wander around. You know, let's just go and uh, let's go and see if uh, Nathan's in. He's here this morning. How's his posty bikes look? All looking well used and muddy. I don't think he's out of bed yet, bless him. We'll pop back later, I'll try and grab him. Yeah, so in the top field you've got uh, pretty much everything. Linden Poskett's over there. You can spend some money in this field, that's for sure. Weekend is done. Well, I'll tell you what, still a fair few here. Packing down is always the hardest bit, that's for sure. Especially when it's hot. So we're gonna get packed down. We're gonna uh, go and say a few goodbyes. So we're gonna get packed down, I'll come back, tell you exactly what I think about ABR 2023. Well, we're all packed up. Are you ready, Budsy? Are you ready, kid? Bikes are all packed up, ready to go. It's uh, thinned out a bit now, still a fair few here. And uh, just want to show you, I just want to show you the buddy pack. Oh, I tell you, it makes life so much easier. So there we have it. Just a normal pack, bit of string to your handlebars, and uh, pretty much 
once you get the bike up you can pull the puck up and just tie it up you see put it away makes life so much easier I came up with this idea because last time I got my wife's puck for her and she got herself sorted like she is now look waiting for me and I got my own bike and I was like right I'm on I'm up I had to get me puck I've got nobody to get me puck and there was nobody about so I ended up having to leave my puck in the bloody oh a bit of a squeeze bud but we're on ended up leaving my puck in the bloody field so yeah see look I'm oh, just gonna uh... oh look at that so I stand up see get the bloody puck up and just wrap it up and put it away bloody amazing I should patent that and sell it that's what I should do and we'll call it the buddy puck Right, Budsy, got your goggles on, kid. You're going to be dusty. Well, goodbye, ABR. Once we get out on the open road, I'll give you my thoughts to what I thought about ABR 2023. I'm tempted to go up the grass in a minute. What do you reckon? Do you want to go up the grass? Up the grass, fucking sitting in this traffic. That's better, isn't it, buds? Oh, yeah, kid. So, yeah, my thoughts on the ABR 2023. Well, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the people that I mixed with and we met. And believe me, we met quite a few of you buddy followers out there, which was uh, quite nice. <laughs> it took quite a bit of getting used to. Uh, bloke at McDonald's when we uh, we arrived, he walking up, then he, he says, You are right, buddy? And I looked at him and I went, I went, He is actually called Buddy. And he went, yeah, I know, I'll follow him. He says, uh, I've done for a while. I thought, all right, yeah, sorry, I said, I forget. So it's been like that pretty much all weekend. People bumping into us and saying hello, buddy. But what I actually think of uh, the ABR 2023, well, I think last year was better. And in the sense it was better because it was smaller. I think uh, with the numbers that they had this year and there the were people muttering the around the 15,000 mark and I gotta say it just it, it started to feel more like a music festival than it did a bike festival but like I said we still enjoyed it enjoyed the camping uh, there's definitely something for everybody that's for sure would I do it again? yeah and if you're gonna come I think you've got a plan to come and you either have to have a lot of money to pay for the catering on site because bloody hell is it expensive uh, I'll give you an example a small scampi and chips a very small fish and chips and a can of coke was 29 quid and it doesn't matter what you eat the prices are high on the way back to the, the tent last night we paid 6 quid for a coke and a coffee so if you're going to come, come prepared and come prepared enough that you know you've got your own food with you. I ended up, I go, I went out this way and uh, you come to an island, you go straight across and before you know it there's a supermarket a mile up the road and that's pretty much how we ended up uh, surviving all weekend because you could spend an absolute bloody fortune. So yeah, the cake was expensive, there was a lot of queuing for the showers purely because of the numbers uh, of the people but yeah I enjoyed it 
I think last year was definitely I found it to be a better year just because it was capped at 10,000 uh, and I've spoke to a few people they said it was even better the year before because it was smaller then all in all we've had a bloody good weekend and uh, we're all loaded up we're heading home after three nights on a camp bed I think uh, it'll be so nice to get in a double bed have a nice hot bath and chill out no place like home so thank you very much for joining us on this one and uh, <laughs> we're out of here stay safe live your best life live your best life hey eh, buds live your best life